gotten deeper. So it's uh, a little slow here. We're back at uh, Sunset Park. We went out further this time, brought the four-wheeler along. Um, so I think as we're waiting here, I'm going to make a make a lunch. Nothing fancy today. Uh, we'll have a freeze-dried meal here, mm -hmm. and then I do have a uh, a new stove to test out. Uh, this one is meant just for boiling water, but uh, I'd like to give that one a go. Yeah, so anyways, it's a uh, Christmas present. Yeah, see how this goes. Well, this is called a. Uh, a jet boil flash. Um, so yeah, this one is meant to boil water. It's actually the fastest stove on the market for boiling water. Uh, so it's not really a simmering stove, but uh, it's a good light one. And I do plan on keeping this in my uh, in my car. It's always nice to have one of these and a small little bag just in case you want to go fishing for the day or a dehydrated food bag. So anyways, I'll, I'll get this all set up in front of you guys, show you what it looks like. Um, first of all, it takes one of the, these are called isobutane propane, uh, these are camping stove uh, gas. Screws on to the bottom. It does have an igniter on it too, built in. You can click and a base base stand. Um, these are actually these are needed because uh, gotta keep it off the cold ground. Yeah, winter time it uh, just clicks onto the bottom and uh, take off the piece of plastic there, and then this clicks on. Here. Yeah. Just like that. For those of you guys that do have a jet boil, maybe you know this, but I ended up using the product for for quite a few years before I realized that the bottom of this actually has a measuring cup. <laughs> and there's like little lines so you can see. So you got one cup and then a half and a quarter cup. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, especially when you're trying to make the right amount of water for those dehydrated meals. Kind of nice to have something to measure with, and it's part of the unit. And we just thought I'd share that because we didn't know it was there. <laughs> no. <laughs> Two thirds of a cup for the chicken pesto pasta. Are you having this one? Yeah, I actually put more than what is recommended because this thing, knowing what I know about them, they need a little extra. Eh? Okay. Leave it, leave it. Yep. Stay. Okay. You look like you were struggling. Oh, I know how that works. Wow, that comes up fast, eh? Right, let's see how fast this is to boil. Oh, that is nuts. Mm -hmm. To believe this is it's so dark in here it's hard to see it though eh? it is much faster than the orange one we have oh, yeah. orange one you can simmer with though yes it's a different purpose yes first bite of the day oh Oh yes, a nice little perch. <laughs> Rob, deal with this. Here, have a. <laughs> One for the dinner t dinner plate. Yep. Alrighty, so I have a uh, same things I was using last weekend. This one's yellow. It's a tungsten, and I actually brought the worms from last weekend because. They were in the fridge and I just decided I might as well use them. Got another couple marks and I'm feeling it on my uh, rod here. 
hopefully I can get it out of the hole. Oh yeah, it's probably a perch by the way it feels, which I would love because I already got one. Oh no, wow, it's a walleye. <laughs> Look, put it over here. <laughs> Look at how big him is. He is. Oh, he looks big. <laughs> you want me to put him down? Here, yeah, move the hot water. It's not hot yet. But... Okay. What is going on down there? Hey, put him down on the ground there. All right. Sorry, I didn't undo my... Oh, I think he's like a half an inch too short. <laughs> Let's do this right. Yeah. It's 15 and, and a quarter. 15 and a quarter. Yeah. That's 15 and three quarters. You're off by, by half an inch. <laughs> <laughs> Darn. Okay, let's let him go. Nice little size. First fish of the, well not, second fish. There you go, little guy. Wow, Jim. You get to live another day. <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't know, we're off by, we're off by this much. <laughs> All right, that was on my, again, my handy dandy tungsten with a, <laughs> you know, I'm going to put that back down there and hope for another one. This one's pretty good. That's one of our favorites, yeah. Like when you're measuring a fish, you're supposed to have the fin straight, not pulled. What fin? Well, the back fins, if, you, if I had squeezed the back fin, it would probably went to 15 three quarters. But I left it square. Yeah, so it's like a V there, right? Yeah. So you get less of the fish, I suppose, if you don't pinch your fin. <laughs> I don't know what the right, the rule is to that. Is it the way the fish is naturally, or? Well, that's how I measured it. Mm -hmm. A little crunchy peanut butter, just like a tablespoon mixed in, would be put it over the top. Somebody's drilling some more holes. Maybe we should put ours out. We're just heading outside now. We're going to get the tip up set up because there's a few fish out here. Well, on the uh, viewfinder, we're seeing lots, and we've had a couple bites, so we're going to take full advantage of of the opportunity to get a few more fish. Woohoo, another big perch! <laughs> he got two! <laughs> I know I love fishing and I've been fishing for my entire life, thanks to my dad. But I don't like touching fish or worms. But I'm learning. <laughs> learning. Look, I caught another one. <laughs> He's going in my pile. <laughs> and I see another one on the bottom there. You ever wonder why you don't fish me? Because I'm forever doing everything. <laughs> That's not why. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do lines in the water? Yeah. Give me hot chocolate. Make a lunch. <laughs> Rob the fishes out. Get the camera on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say you have fun coming with me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a latte. A latte. That's better than a hot chocolate in my books. Boo, 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 boo. Made art on top for you. Oh, fancy. <laughs> Thank you. You having one? No. Okay. Can I parcel up now? You can do whatever you like. I'm back to fishing. Rob's on to something. How does it feel? I'm oh, lost it. It might be on me now. Yep. I got him. He's a fighting. He's a fighting. Oh yeah, another walleye. It's right there. It's there, yeah. Just a oh, poor little guy. <laughs> walleye number two, right? Definitely too small. So he's going back. <sighs> Rat. 
We're good. Wrap. Okay. As you can see in the light of the four-wheeler, it's snowing pretty good. There we go. That'd be good from here. So we'll see you guys next week for another adventure. See Bye! You. <laughs>